Okay. I was just in the desert for some fucking days. Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch. In my life, I fuck a couple witches. Think I'm a wizard. Hot as a critters. A cooking gizzard. Liquor like a lizard. You be kidding me. Trying to belittle me. Know that you're feeling me. Giggity, giggity. Live in the jungle. I got my thumb in the butthole. What's good, y'all? <laughs> Your boy, Mr. Horny Guy. We back up in this bitch. Now, now, it's a baby. The only time I've ever listened to Sababy ever is when he's on feet. Technically, this should be a listening to for the first time because this is the first time I'm listening to Sababy alone on a trip. And I didn't pull up with a stick, lady. I don't give a fuck about that. We're here with Sababy Barnacle. Barnacles. So we on some SpongeBob shit. Barnacles is toxic, right? Like, them, them niggas is dirty, right? I refresh my Twitter timeline and I fucking see niggas saying Sababy fans proclaim Barnacles album horniest album of all time. <laughs> you cannot be that fucking horny to the okay, okay, nah, there's been a okay. There's been times where I beat my meat for like three hours, so I have no room to talk. But there's no fucking way in shit that you just recorded a whole entire album for 41 minutes being horny. And that's multiple, that's probably multiple weeks of recording. 41 minutes of horny. All right, so baby. <laughs> said it's the most. This is this nigga can't be that horny, bro. There's no fucking way. Track one, barnacles. This nigga is not that motherfucking horny, bro. You're not that horny, bro. You're not that fucking horny. You're not that horny, bro. We're not even 30 seconds in! This nigga said, fuck your crew with a sick dick. Hope you niggas catch syphilis. Not with this nigga just calmly singing behind this smooth ass beat like he's not saying this horny ass shit. Lick by the dick if a nigga try. I know you're not calmly, dude. Yo, it's a baby. Are you serious, bro? Ooh. Oh, this that shit slow that wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. My shooters fed and they ready to eat. She spaghetti the D. She in love with these balls. Put a ring on a bitch. <laughs> no fucking way. She's spaghetti the D. She's slurping spaghetti because the spaghetti long as shit. Right now, you know, right now, like, I'm impressed with the horniness, but, it, like, it's kind of not living up to my standards because, you know, you know, there's been some moments where I've been horny as a motherfucker, bro. Like, honestly, I'm trying, I'm trying, like, see, see a little bit, like, uh, some horniness to the next level, like, I'm trying to fuck a brick or fuck a giraffe type shit or fuck a horse because horses is thick as a bitch. Horses are thick. That's corny as shit. Nigga said, I ate some cocoa puffs. You going cook? You know I'm going cuckoo. Hey, elephants are some thick ass motherfuckers too. You already know they get some good top with that tusk. We fucked giraffes and elephants. I was just. So not only did I just like you know 
get done talking about fucking animals. This motherfucker talking about fucking animals. So we're on the same fucking level now. <laughs> I was just talking about this nigga need to get on my level of horny. He's on my level of horny in under 30 seconds. And then he gonna say, gave her both of these balls, LaMelo and Lonzo. And then he gonna rhyme that with the previous verse talking about some big booty bitch. That shit on Alfonso. <laughs> oh my fucking God. I gotta play that back. Did I just hear like some back vocals of someone like sound like they was slurping on some cock? Like, you know how, you know, we hear, you know, we hear niggas on sad tracks, you know, they sound sad as fuck. We be like, damn, no, who the fuck made him so sad? Who the fuck made this motherfucker so horny? I, and the thing is, like, I think there needs to be some clarification and I feel like there needs to be some extra information sent out here. I need to know when these songs were recorded. I need to know how long it took to record this album. I need to know what time of day it was when this was recorded. Because if this shit was recorded in the early mornings, bruh, this motherfucker is on some ultimate level. Because you can't be horny off wake up. Cause I'm starting to feel like this motherfucker was not record like he recorded a little bit of this shit in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, there were some days where he had to wake up in the morning and just spit that horny shit because there was just no pussy around. And on top of that, it's quarantine season. So this isn't good for anybody's health right now, but niggas don't give a fuck. Niggas don't give a fuck. Niggas out here fucking regardless. Track four, racist. Aw, oh, spit that shit. I'll oh, spit it. What you gotta, there's, there's bound to be no horniness in this shit. With a song called Racist? Ain't no motherfucking way. No way. There's no way. Oh, in my diamond race. I love my diamonds, I call K. Bitch, it's going like a fucking A. Bitch, I got K like a special K. I thought we was finna fight against racism. I thought that's what this was about. I thought he was going to be on some like Black Lives Matter shit. This nigga just came out the gates. 20 seconds in, B, B and my diamonds racist, all of my diamonds are Caucasian, bitches squinting like the fucking Asians. If I hear some shit about some kung flu shit, I'm fucking out of here, bro. My diamonds on Donald Trump, your diamonds not what they are, Uncle Tom's. I cannot hang with no dizzy niggas. Red Goofies and Donald Ducks. Eat that man straight out of Africa. I look like a Zulu warrior. I love my diamonds, I call K. And on the top of that, why do he slap a little bit? He slapped. The amount of references I done heard, I done heard Ronald Reagan, I done heard Donald Trump, I done heard Nick Cannon, cause he, cause he wildin', cause it's a wildin' out. These are like our slappers. I ain't gonna lie, I'm on that kind of horny though. Like I ain't gonna cap on you. Me and him see eye to eye. Like I'm feeling, like I feel the connection between the both of us already. I love the fuck. I love it. Pregnant. Give it up for the semen puss. Like what? These niggas, these bitches slide up. This sound like that early 2000s R&B shit. What the fuck is he saying? I can't even understand what he's saying. She 
Bro, did he just call someone a fucking gorilla? I know this motherfucker didn't just sit there and say someone's built like a fucking pig. I'm not talking about everyone, but like they got some kind of build where they kind of thick a little bit. Why is this entertaining? What's this? What's this? Popping shit. What? I did, I do not like how he's sounding all calm about all of this. Why is the word britches just a funny word to me? Britches is a funny ass word. Britches and trousers are the funniest fucking words ever in American history. Well, that's not even. That's not even in American language. Why? Why does he have a song called Double Dick, bro? I'm not gonna cap. I played this little porn game. Okay, let me stop. I played this game, and the, the dude, the animated dude, literally had two double cocks, bro. <laughs> My bad bitch bit the apple. Are you trying to say she fucking Eve? That's why women deserve less because because Eve bit the fucking apple. One in the head, told her to whip me. I was the whipper. She screamed, baby, please don't kill me. And it's like so crazy because he's saying all of this with no hesitation. Why was he this horny to like say, you know what? I'm gonna make an album about my horny thoughts. And the thing is, what other artist has made an album like this to the point where they're just uncontrollably psychotically horny? Because this man right now is a danger to the current society right now. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'm all here for it because I'm all for some new stories. I'm, you know, th this is some shit that's not even cliche. I'm here for it. Dude, where are, track, track nine, purple umbrella. And not only that, this nigga only got one feature on this bitch. Ooh. I'm waiting for him to say something about Belmore or Daphne. I'm waiting for it. Why does this sound like that instrumental? She got a donut booty. I'm a glaze. I'm finna glaze. She fin he finna glaze them booty cheeks with his nuts. Bro. I didn't think that he could literally do this. But he did it. This nigga did it. And not with this like clean ass video game sounding instrumental. Put this bitch in a fucking Pokemon while I'm running through the fucking fields. Dude, what possessed him? Something's possessing him right now. This isn't Sabay. You know that I'm swimming, I think it's a shark. You think these bitches. Can we rewind? Because I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at some shit about Morris Chestnut. Did this motherfucker just say they thought I was gay when I had Uggs on? On some Lil Wayne lime green shit? 
And he says it with no hesitation. And not with someone trying to annotate that lyric like there's something behind that. God, and this is a track with the fucking feature. What is that nigga about to do? Why does the produ the production on this bitch slap, bro? Sweet me, sweet me. Don't let me get money working. Just it's like I'm eating the beast. Pissing my face like a bubble. Burn with a big ass. Shut 'em down like a rocket fuel. I lose. Them big ass when this got that boy looking good. Go strippers and naked. I'm talking about. What does that even mean? Yo, bitch, he did up so she calling me Ruth Chris. When they come to figures, I'm about that action on it. I I love this generation and I say that because this generation is just a bucket full of surprises uh, like right now I'm just only talking about in the music aspect because in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s mid 2000s shit even early 2010s nowadays it's literally on an almighty all-time high where just niggas literally make music about legitimately anything that's why you know this era of music is is way more diverse than any other era of music because niggas just there's so many sub genres of music nowadays it's literally fucking crazy because this nigga is 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 going to the like and after this and a nigga somehow finds a way to make another album like this what the hell do you say at that point you you didn't say any everything horny is possible so what else do you have to say to me where am i track 12 geico don't be on no lizard shit is the nigga off geico a lizard he's a lizard correct not with this motherfucker harmonizing in the back I keep punching and shoot a nigga go beat his feet. Hit his face. Like what if you hate it? Curtis Jackson. I'll play chop for this shit. Michael Black. Shout out to Miss Brown Bitch. I ain't. Why that bitch is bragging? Damn. Imagine listening to this shit with literally no lyrics. I'd probably be having the most difficult time ever in my life. I didn't heard this nigga say some shit about being a semen demon. A pop dickle. Separate the head from the dreads. Separate the body from the legs. Separate the fingers from the hands. Don't get smoked. Why did he just go on some mystical bar shit? Like he just spit bars like mystical right there. He was just on some. Have you ever seen a lamb with no hair? If you ever see me in a forest with a grizzly bear, help the bear! Oh, rest in peace, Kobe, bro. God damn it. You have no motherfucking room to talk about thinking about like you have no what this motherfucker to say you have you don't think what you're dick That's not safe. You have no room to talk. You've been talking with your dick for the whole fucking album This nigga really just said you can't think with your dick. You've been thinking about you've been thinking with it for the whole album like if they ever made the executive decision to like put this out on vinyl on a limited quantity i might have to make some executive decisions to purchase that i'm at this point it's, it's addicting as shit to purchase but dude i am wow this bitch in the car with her head down she not i caught them last niggas round so i most them 
like a mosquito. You know that I always cheese on the she's She on me with that baby father. It's crazy, but the OB like me running on my track. I'm like really surprised he hasn't said not one thing about herpes or anything about HIV or anything like that. Dude, we're on the final track and I'm just, I am just, I don't know what to feel. I do not, like I'm kind of psychotic right now. I, Dare this nigga go again with having double dicks. Hey, mister, you're not a killer. 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 Why am I singing along? I know I did not sit here for 54 minutes and listen to a man talk about his horny and sexual thoughts for 54 minutes. I have no regrets that I sat here and listened to that whole thing because I needed that. I do not know, like I said, I don't know what possessed him to just say, oh yeah, let me go ahead and make a whole entire 41 minute album to me being horny. I I am in shock, I'm mind blown, I'm taken aback. I just cannot believe what I just listened to. And the funny fucking thing is this is my first introduction to Sababy and I know he doesn't make music like this all the time. So I, I'm i not gonna say I'm impressed. I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed. I'm not gonna say any of that. I'm gonna just say I had a fucking fun time here because I just cannot believe what the hell I listened to. So I'm gonna leave on that note. Um, This be your boy, Mr. 2K God. And I'm out this bitch.